The film opens up a ship brimming with sailors attempting to toss spears at what they believe is a mermaid. Prince Eric comes down to stop them as it is only a dolphin that they are attempting to hurt. The sailors insist that mermaids are simply one more ocean creature that is dangerous. Eric's butler Grimsby watches over the boy on the request of his mom, Queen Selina, despite Eric's daring soul. The sailors additionally wind up pushing one of their telescopes overboard. Far below the sea is the realm of mare people, ruled by King Triton. He gathers his daughters, Perla, Indira, Mala, Tamika, Karina and Caspia as they get ready for the coral moon. However, Triton's youngest little girl, Ariel is missing. Triton sends his crab major Sebastian out to find her. Ariel is with her dearest friend, Flounder as she finds the sailor's telescope, which she keeps among her discoveries of the human world. The two swim down to a submerged boat and track down a fork, however they are before long pursued by a shark. Ariel moves the shark away from Flounder by fooling the shark into seeing her appearance in a mirror, and afterward getting stuck in it, permitting Ariel and Flounder to get away. Ariel and Flounder are found by Scuttle, a diving bird that is familiar with the human world. She lets Ariel know that her fork is a dingle hopper that is utilized to style hair. Sebastian shows up and tells Ariel she missed the coral moon meeting, compelling her to swim back to her dad. As they leave two eels, Flotsam and Jetsam spy on Ariel sent by their master, Ursula, the sea witch. She is Triton's sister who disdains him for getting control of the sea while she was left in a pit of squalor. She subtly desires to involve Ariel as a pawn, and overthrowing her brother when Ariel tracks down Triton. He scolds her and furthermore reminds her not to go close to the surface, as people were responsible for the demise of her mom. Ariel goes with Flounder to her cave where she keeps generally her human artifacts expressing her craving to see the world above. Sebastian pursues her however Ariel sees firecrackers up above and follows the light of festival as being held for Eric's 21st birthday, and Grimsby is reminding Eric about the obligation he must take before he becomes king. Ariel is spotted by Eric's dog Max, however Eric misses her. Minutes after the fact, a horrendous storm hits advancing towards the boat, the team makes on their rafts. As the boat bursts into flames and runs into the rocks, however Eric is pushed over into the water. Ariel swims down to safeguard him. Ariel carries Eric to the shore and figures out how to revive him. While he is scarcely conscious, he can get a brief look at Ariel and hear her voice before Grimsby, and other men stop by to find him, and take him back to the kingdom. Ursula keeps on keeping an eye on Ariel and acknowledges she has what she really wants to pull Ariel in for her plan. At the point when Ariel returns submerged, Sebastian finds her, and attempts to persuade her that life on a surface is overrated, and everything is way better where they are. While Ariel pauses for a minute to partake on the world she lives in. She gets back to her cave where she stops to respect the sculpture of Eric that fell underwater, which she presently saves for herself. Upon Eric's return, he as his people attempted to find the mysterious young lady that saved him. Selina thinks he isn't well, yet Eric demands that this young lady has completely changed him. He runs outside, and jumps on a boat as he attempts to track down her himself. Ariel and her sisters tidy up the remains of the submerged boat that came on their turf, Ariel is still upset about Triton for his dismissal of the human world, however he knows something different is going on. Sebastian lets the cat out of the bag to Triton that Ariel is infatuated with Eric in the wake of going up to the surface. Triton tracks down Ariel in her cave, and chastises her for resisting him. Despite the fact that, Ariel tired to argue that the people can't be in every way terrible. Triton utilizes his Triton to destroy Ariel's things, passing on her to weep in sadness. Ursula utilizes Flotsam and Jetsam to contact Ariel, and draw her to her lair while Flounder and Sebastian follow. Ariel tracks down a murky pit for of skeletons of mare people, prior to meeting her alienated auntie. Ursula plays to Ariel's desire to be with humans, and her interest in Eric, while additionally promoting her enchanted abilities that she has used to help other people. Ariel calls off one of her scales as a feature of the arrangement, while likewise surrendering her voice. She is given three days to get Eric to kiss her or she will get back to being a mermaid and become a prisoner of Ursula's.
Ursula chuckles as Ariel's tail vanishes and legs fill in their place, she rapidly swims to the surface. Ariel is gotten in a fishing boat that is headed to the kingdom, she is brought in washed and dressed, before she is brought to meet Eric. Tragically, since she can't talk he can't affirm that she is without a doubt the young lady that saved him, still he permits her to remain in the palace, until different plans can be made. At the point when Sebastian finds her in her room he sees that she doesn't recollect that she needs to kiss Eric as a component of the arrangement. Ariel then escapes her room and finds Eric's library. He joins her and shows off the things he had found in his travels, as well as express his desires to see more of the world. The following day, Grimsby allows Eric to sneak off into town with Ariel despite Selina's good faith. They go through the day in a pony-drawn carriage, before Eric brings Ariel to a market. Sebastian, Flounder and Scuttle then work together to speed up the kissing process, so they have Scuttle steal Eric's hat to draw them onto a boat to ride over a lake. With assistance from other animals' creatures, they attempt to set the mood. Ariel likewise figures out how to give Eric her name through specific clues, just as they are going to kiss Flotsam and Jetsam turn their boat over. Ursula acknowledges Ariel came excessively close to succeed, so she chooses to bring matters into her own tentacles, and utilize one of her potions to mask herself as a lovely lady named Vanessa, to mesmerize Eric by utilizing Ariel's voice. Back in the underwater kingdom, Triton sends individuals to look for Ariel, he rapidly understands that his actions might have driven his little girl away from him, bringing him extraordinary regret. Scuttle flies into the room, the following morning to let them know some news, she has caught wind of Eric preparing to propose. At the point when Ariel goes to find him she sees him close by Vanessa, what makes her extremely upset, she takes off. Inciting her, Flounder, Sebastian and Scuttle to go get her. Scuttle hears Ariel's voice coming from Vanessa's room, and sees Ursula's actual appearance in the mirror. She takes off to caution Ariel, and let her in on what is happening, Flounder goes to tell Triton, while the others head out to stop the engagement. Scuttle flies in to occupy the visitor at Eric's engagement party, and Max helps her assault Vanessa. Ariel comes in and takes the locket from her, breaking it and releasing her voice lastly permitting her to converse with Eric. Before they can kiss, the sun sets and Ariel turns into a mermaid once more. Selina is disturbed, as she believes sea creatures are dangerous, Vanessa turns back into Ursula and she snatches Ariel prior to jumping back into the sea. Triton finds Ursula as she takes Ariel with her, however she utilizes Flotsam and Jetsam to tangle Triton up and almost drained his life out before he consents to surrender his trident. Ursula has the eels depleted Triton's life before she acquires power from the trident. Eric pursues Ariel and hits Ursula's arm with a spear. Flotsam and Jetsam attempt to fight him down underwater, so Ursula can kill him yet Ariel makes Ursula to blast and vaporize the eels into bits. A distressed Ursula, then grows to a massive size and starts to go after Ariel and Eric. She makes a submerged boat ascend and Ariel jumps on to assume command over it, while Ursula attempts to shoot Eric with a trident. Ariel figures out how to control the boat so the wrecked bow tower can pierce Ursula, sending her sinking to her grave. The trident falls and re-establishes Triton's life force. Eric gets back to the surface and needs to track down Ariel, yet in the end accepts it as pointless. While he concedes defeat, Selina tells him, she was off base about sea creatures and her child's affections for Ariel. Later on, Triton notice Ariel watching out at the palace longingly, he understands what his little girl wants despite the fact that it implies he needs to let her go. He utilizes his trident to give Ariel her legs back and she gets back to Eric where they share their most memorable kiss. Ariel and Eric are subsequently hitched and ready to cruise off and see the world, they are met by Flounder, Sebastian, and Scuttle before Triton and Ariel's sister. Besides the wide range of various mare people show up to say their goodbye and see them off alongside the humans, now joining their two world as one and the film closes here. Thank you for watching.